First install the non-adjustable pulleys. Pay attention to the direction of penetration of the screw on the plate. Use cylindrical spacer column to assembling non-adjustable pulleys. Install another non-adjustable pulley in the same way. Tighten screw. At this time, the screws can be tightened a little. Make sure the pulley assembly is firm. Note the orientation of the nut. At this time, the nut does not need to be tightened. The screws and nuts fixing X-axis profile on the side only need to be screwed on. No need to tighten for now. Also note the direction in which the nut is screwed in. Get it done. When assembling the extrusion wheel, the screw on the extrusion wheel should be close to the side of the motor. And the screw on the extrusion wheel needs to be fixed on the plane of the output shaft of the motor. Properly tighten the screws. Keep the extrusion wheel from slipping freely. Then adjust the distance from the extrusion wheel to the motor to 6 mm. Tighten the screw of the extrusion wheel. When assembling the motor on the Z-axis slider, the direction of the motor interface should face down. Then align the assembled extruder components one by one and fix it with screws. Get it done. When installing the X axis and stop, the probe of the end stop should be upward. Embed the cable of end stop into the trunking. Be careful not to break the interface between the end stop and the cable. Install the nut of screw. No difficulty. Just screw it on. Get it done. When assembling the synchronous wheel, the end of the wheel with the screw should be close to the side of the motor. 
One of the screws on the synchronous wheel should sit on the flat surface of the motor output shaft. Tighten the screw slightly. Adjust the distance from the synchronous wheel to the motor to 2.5 mm. Then lock the two screws of the synchronous wheel. Assemble the Z-axis homing probe. Adjust the trigger piece to the longest first. When assembling the X-axis motor, the motor interface should face the side of the extruder. Then fix the cover to the motor with screws. Assemble the Z-axis homing probe to the slider. Thread the belt from the side of the cover of X-axis motor. Make sure the belt fits correctly on the synchronous wheel. And no knots or spirals. Finally, snap the filament guide port to the side of the cover of X-axis motor. Align the extruder feeding hole. Get it done. Assemble the bearing pulley first. Next slide the nut into the X-axis profile. And fix it on the Z-axis slider. Be careful not to catch the belt when the profile slides into the printed part on the left. This printed part has a limited structure inside. The profile slides into a certain distance and will be blocked. At this time, Tighten the screw of the adjustable pulley on the back and the screw next to it. Rotate the red marking line of the eccentric nut to the outside. Put the belt into the groove of the profile after finishing. Slide the print fan into the profile. Then assemble the X-axis base of bearing pulley. Fix this base. Thread the belt through the bearing pulley. Then go through the X-axis base of bearing pulley again. And pass from below.
Fold the belt in half and insert it into the belt fixing block. Then install this block on the print head. Fold in half after tightening the belt. Make the fold just enough to touch the pulley of the print head. Then insert the belt into the fixing block. Install this fixing block on the print head. Finally screw on the adjustment knob for belt tightness. Next, adjust the belt tightness. Move the print head short distance left and right. It can be seen that the belt is jumping up and down. This is caused by the belt being too loose. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise. Tighten the belt. Then move the slider again. Observe the jumping state of the belt. Until the belt does not jump when moving the slider for a short distance from side to side. When adjusting the knob, please rotate this knob a number of times at a small angle. Perfect.